Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share a dream I had this morning, November 17, 2024. This dream is like a story, but I couldn't remember the whole story when I woke up. I only will share a short part of the dream that I feel related to the end times or rapture. In the dream, I was standing on the top of a big building. I didn't know where it was and I could see the clear blue sky. And suddenly, I saw a huge sign in the sky. It's like red paint brush stroke on the sky. Like someone is starting to paint the sky with a giant brush with the color red. Not long after that, I saw another sign appeared in the sky. I saw the image of meteor falling. The meteor's color is red. The image is the same like this. When I saw these two signs in the sky, I was shocked and I told people to come and look at the sky. But when they came, we all don't see those signs anymore. I saw the sky only with clouds and just a normal sky. So I wondered why it's only me who see the signs. And then it's like I was still on the top of the same building. I look at the right direction of the building. I look the sky just a normal sky with gray clouds and i also saw some plants houses from a distance and then i heard a voice spoke to me as i look at the scene the voice said like this remember the story of shallots and garlic a cinderella type story of good versus evil and very popular folk tales in indonesia and malaysia when i woke up i wondered why suddenly the story of shallots and garlic appeared in my dream because I never thought about this story at all for a long time. Here is a short synopsis of the beginning of this story. I will share the complete story of these folk tales in my description box below. Mercy sisters, I don't know why I was given this story of shallots and garlic as a message to share today. Maybe it is to encourage us, the brides of Christ, to endure till the end, keep doing good even in the difficult situations, and we are around people who do evil or persecute us. Don't repay evil with evil, but repay evil with good. Stay faithful till the end or until Jesus comes. The story of Cinderella or Charlotte and Garlic are both talking about good versus evil and the moral is in the end or finally evil will be defeated and good or kindness will win. So be encouraged brides of Christ, stay faithful in good and kindness to the end. I want to tell you a secret that will see you through all the trials that life can offer. She'll merely be your stepmother, and you'll have two lovely sisters to keep you company. So I'll know as far away as I may be that you'll be safe. Wouldn't you prefer to eat when all the work is done, Ella? Yes, stepmother. Oh, you needn't call me that. Madam will do. Cinder wench. Dirty Ella. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Right, miss, what do they call you? Never mind what they call me. I'm sorry. It's not your doing. Nor yours either, I'll bet. I hope to see you again, miss. And I you. Ella, you have more kindness in your little finger than most people possess in their whole body. It was my mother's old dress. It would be an insult to take you to the palace dressed in these old rags. <gasps> you shall not go to the ball. <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you crying? Who are you? Better. My fairy godmother. No, where are these mice? <laughs> They're made of glass. And you find they're really comfortable. Now off you go. For you shall go to the ball. Believe me, they're all looking at you. Where there is kindness, there is goodness. And where there is goodness, there is magic. I have to see her again. 
Are you looking for this? That's all I'd like to share, brothers and sisters. I hope this message can encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.